Quick update on the 90 gallon plant and aquarium. Filters are off, the water is real calm. Need to clean the glass, I've got spots there. The third Tiger Lowe's bulb is showing signs of new leaves. And uh, need to anchor that fern, java fern, and this one over here down in the substrate. Got some new ones that are almost ready to, I guess, propagate. And I've got my dark brown algae has turned into this red, I don't know if it's really spot, uh, red algae of some sort. I dosed the tank with the Seachem product to adjust the pH down. It's called Seachem Acid Buffer, and I usually, well, not usually, I always dilute it in um, probably three to four cupfuls of aquarium water first, and then pour it in. And I think that is the cause, because it's here, it's mainly on the rocks. Um, there's none really on the driftwood everywhere where I had some allergy. So either it's killing off that algae or the red algae has replaced whatever that brown algae was. Not sure. Um, there's a few spots on this rock. And then all the algae that was on this Anubius is pretty much gone except for those spots back there and the water sprite has a few leaves back there and the Madagascar lace so I'm gonna see if it can go away naturally if not I will just cut off the leaves and remove it and dip the rocks in some type of um, solution to get that off. Second tiger lotus bulb is coming in nicely. And it's going to look really nice when that comes in. The main one is showing signs of either a new lily pad that's heading to the surface or a new leaf. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see how far it goes up. Normally I do allow them to venture towards the surface and then once they reach the surface I'll cut them back. And I need to do some trimming the next time I have my hands in the tank. Um, the ruffle plant needs trimming back there. There's some dead leaves. Um, I want to add a Seachem Flourish tab in the back to get some growth on these plants. And I was thinking about adding one over here. glass on the tank is really clear and some well the water is clear the glass on the tank needs cleaning both on the inside and out um, but through that there is I don't know if you can see it there's particles floating um, ran my test and did a major weekly water change on Sunday so all my level my water chemistry is all in good condition um, zero ammonia 
did notice a spike in the ammonia, so I can't, I can no longer go an entire week without doing a water change until my filters adjust to the, um, I guess, the additional bio load. Uh, but as you can see, there's particles floating. So, but the water is crystal clear, except for the cloudiness. Um, solution: I'm going to order a UV sterilizer that will go in a tank over here in the corner, 15 watt or 18 watt one, and then I'm ordering some Seachem products to place some products in the Fluvo 406 so that's what's going on got some red algae spots here and there uh, about to feed the fish some blood worms and also noticed that these diamond tetras do nibble on this particular plant. They love nibbling on it. You can see if you look at the edges, which I'm completely fine with. Um, this plant, not that crazy about it, but it does grow really fast and it looks good against the contrast with the wood. Um, I rather the diamond tetras nibble on the um, it's either wisteria or water sprite as opposed to some of the other plants in the tank. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll do my best to keep you posted with the progress on tackling this um, reddish allergy. And before we go, let me check the temperature. It's at 83.3. I'll leave you with a uh, pullback of the entire tank.